This week, state officials are sifting through the thousands of mosquitoes being captured along the shoreline. They're keeping an eye out for West Nile, of course, and this year for Zika. As News 8's Bob Wilson shows us tonight, if Zika mosquitoes show up in this state, it will likely be along the shore. Now, when you think about trapping mosquitoes, you think of a back bog somewhere in a swamp. Well, we're right behind Hill House High School in New Haven, and this is one of the more common places you find that Asian tiger mosquito. It's a mosquito that lives primarily along the shoreline that can carry the Zika virus. Robin Pankos from the Connecticut Agricultural Experiment Station is setting up a mosquito trap in New Haven. It's one of 91 locations they trap and test mosquitoes across Connecticut. It attracts mosquitoes using the dry ice that is in here. And then once we connect this to the battery, um, there will be a light that will turn on and a fan that will suck all of the mosquitoes down into the net. The experiment station started trapping mosquitoes this week, and today they'll be collecting their first batch of mosquitoes to test for the Zika virus. In the laboratories, they're looking for one specific mosquito that can carry and transmit the virus to humans. It lives almost exclusively along the shoreline in Connecticut. We do have one mosquito species here called the Asian tiger mosquito that is capable of transmitting the virus, and uh, so we're going to be monitoring that mosquito. If you're a pregnant woman or a family thinking of having a baby, it's pretty scary when you see the pictures of the babies with the birth defects from the Zika. But the state health department says your risk is low for contracting the virus from a mosquito here in Connecticut. That's because this is primarily a tropical disease. But the concern is that returning travelers from affected areas could potentially infect mosquitoes here in Connecticut. So we're going to be testing them and monitoring them to make sure that that doesn't happen. The Asian tiger mosquito can be found around your house if you're not careful. Armstrong recommends removing all standing water on your property if you can. So it breeds in water that collects around people's homes. So wherever you see junk, where you see buckets, where you see plastic containers that can store a rainwater, that's where you'll see this mosquito species. So once they've separated out all the mosquitoes, then they take and break them down into pools and send them off to the labs. And they say it takes about seven days, a little over a week, to get the results back to know whether or not they test positive for the Zika. We're in New Haven. Bob Wilson, News 8.